Hey guys, Chris Bell, Comic Book University, and I'm going to explain the Shadow King in about a minute. The Shadow King first appeared in X-Men number 117 in January of 1979, and was created by Chris Claremont and John Byrne. The man who most people confuse as the Shadow King is actually Amal Farouk, or used to be. Amal was a mutant born in the early 20th century who was a powerful telepath, excelling in mental possession. The Shadow King possessed him and inhabited his body for over a century, able to maintain and preserve Amal's body long past its natural time. The actual Shadow King is an enigma, often referred to as a multidimensional entity who was created when the first living being in the universe experienced the very first nightmare. He is the living embodiment of the dark side of sentient life. He feeds off of the despair, fear, and misery of mankind, but can only exist on the astral plane. While the lower astral plane is safe, being a place where all mortals go when they dream, the upper astral plane is where powerful and dangerous entities exist, and none are more powerful than the Shadow King. The Shadow King is unable to affect the mortal world unless he has a conduit to bridge the upper astral plane and the lower, and those bridges come in the form of powerful psychics, like Amal Farouk. The Shadow King has been active on Earth for a long time while possessing Farouk, who was prolific to begin with, being the leader of the Thieves' Quarter in Cairo, Egypt. One of his thieves, a young Aurora Monroe, pickpocketed a visiting Charles Xavier. While retrieving his wallet, he was struck by a psionic attack so strong that it knocked him unconscious. When he woke up, he tracked the origin of the assault to a restaurant where he met Farouk. He was a huge man as, just as the Shadow King has a voracious appetite for the suffering of human souls, the bodies he possesses are gluttons for mundane food. Charles entered the astral plane where he came face to face with the Shadow King's true form. He overcame the entity, barely, and left the Shadow King to be scattered amongst the upper astral, taking decades to reform himself. Professor X would use this encounter as the catalyst for forming his X-Men, as he didn't realize before this that there were mutants who would use their powers for evil. The Shadow King doesn't need to stay on the material plane to feed at all, but he gets much more access to mankind's suffering when he does, so he needs a psionically gifted host to do that, and his first choice is Charles Xavier, the most powerful telepath on Earth. On his own, the Shadow King is a true Omega-level telepath, and he is strong enough to have possessed the minds of Black Panther and Karma with no trouble, and even manipulate powerful psychics like Jean Grey and Psylocke. When he inhabits a psychically gifted mortal, he greatly enhances that mortal's powers. He's existed as long as mortals have known fear and despair, and he'll exist until pain is no more. And that's the Shadow King, in about a minute.